Okay, folks, so let's go ahead and start the lighting. Um, so there's going to be a lot of tweaking involved. So, okay, so I'm going to start by adding uh, my first area light. This is going to be our um, overhead light. I'm going to go ahead to my coordinates. First of all, change my view, uh, my display options to quick shading. And I'm going to select the light go to its coordinates and I'm going to type negative 19 and let's go ahead and put it up here maybe somewhere about here I'm going to change um, go to the details and change the size to something like 1500 and 1500 so as you can see it is quite big here uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead to the general and make sure we have an area shadow turned on for this light too and go to my uh, fall off under detail tab and change the type to inverse square clamped I'm gonna go ahead and make this thing maybe somewhere about here would be enough I guess and the next thing I wanna have some nice reflections uh, involved in the uh, process here now um, uh, I think we can go ahead and create some uh, uh, plain uh, reflection and just to make the process a bit nicer so I'm going to uh, create a plane here and uh, I'm going to um, make sure the size is exactly as the light so 1500 and 1500 for both and I'm gonna put it behind my light here there we go something like this and they're exactly the same size as you can see and I'm going to make this plane uh, to be a child of my light so whenever I move the light or I rotate my light it will uh, follow the light and then next thing I'm gonna go ahead and create a material for this let's go ahead and name it the overhead light matte I'm gonna turn off the color and reflect hands and just turn on the luminance for the moment go ahead and apply a gradient go inside that gradient I'm gonna change it to a uh, uh, box here I'm gonna go ahead invert the knots and this is by default quite all right I'm gonna just go ahead and maybe just lighten it up a bit here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the exact same map on our alpha channel because uh, if we didn't have a, a dark environment these uh, black edges will show in our reflection against the background and it, it will re really ruin the reflection and in order to avoid that we are going to enable the alpha channel I'm gonna just go ahead and copy the exact same map here I'm just going to make the second color quite dark so we have absolute uh, transparency at that uh, part there and I can change this to be a plane okay I'm just going to uh, save as this file or save it incrementally if you want I'm gonna just go ahead and save it as 0303 here okay and uh, let's start working on this so we have this first light which I think it's not too bad but I'm gonna go ahead and actually change some stuff I'm gonna go to my alpha channel and change this to be a layered shader I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, at some uh, sort of uh, uh, stripes uh, in uh, there to make sure the reflection is sort of nicer and more detailed so I'm gonna go ahead and add a surface and go ahead and add the um let's see what we can use I'm gonna go ahead and use the tiles go inside that and change this color to white this to white and I guess we can change this to black for the moment I'm gonna go ahead and change the global scale maybe to something like 300 and I'm going to make sure maybe 200 will be enough and let's go ahead and increase the size until we have a nice 
a sort of reflection here maybe something like this isn't too bad so now our alpha channel if I change this to be uh, multiply let's say it's gonna be something like this and you can go ahead if you like to uh, basically uh, change the way they are uh, here so this is what we have right now I'm going to my function and uh, re-render all the materials and now uh, what we can do now we have this we can actually add this alpha into our luminance but I think it uh, will uh, does the job if you t uh, turn this image alpha off especially for this case because we're using the uh, procedural maps it will help to actually have the uh, map exactly the way we want it I'm gonna just go ahead inside here and make sure our alpha channel is sort of limited and the color let's see create another white here there we go this is uh, much more nicer so I'm going to apply this to my plane here there we go and that's what we're gonna have for the moment and uh, before anything uh, happens I'm gonna go ahead and save the scene and start creating the uh, material for these uh, uh, fluid and see how exactly uh, it uh, works and uh, test our lighting and see if it's gonna uh, be exactly the way we want it to so I'm going to uh, create a new material uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to enable the transparency I'm gonna uh, reduce the transparency to something like 99% change the refraction maybe to something like 1.6 and I'm going to uh, select the uh, absorption color to just have a tint of blue in our water. So I'm going to use this color, but with a lot of uh, absor absorption distance. So we just get a tint of it, you can see. And then I'm going to my reflectance channel. And uh, by default, we have this default specular, but I'm going to add a, a Beckman as my um, primarily a uh, method of reflection I'm gonna come down here and um, go to the layer for now and change this to dialectic and change the preset to water and that is nice by default and I'm gonna go ahead and create a uh, some sort of a pinpoint uh, uh, specular so I'm gonna go to my default specular and reduce the width something like this and the specular strength maybe to something like 65 so I guess it's gonna help to sell the shot here and this is basically what we need to do and if you can go here and that's gonna be our main reflection layer just to stay organized and we have the transparency if you wanted to uh, change something at some roughness uh, control the reflection strength but for the moment I think we're gonna stay with what we have at the time so this is cool I'm going to add these to uh, my uh, meshes here. There we go. So let me go ahead and save the scene. Uh, the next thing I want to go ahead and add some sort of uh, environment to the scene. So let's go ahead and add a sky and um, uh, create a new material. Let's go ahead and name it the sky or environment or whatever you are happy with. I'm going to turn off the color and reflectance and turn on the luminance. Now, in this case, I'm going to use, uh, again, a commercial HDRI that I won't be able to provide it uh, to you. You can uh, go ahead and buy it or uh, use your own HDRI images, but I use this HDRI in my main scene and it really makes sense in this scene. So this is one of Element 3D HDRI's, uh, Element 3D is a plugin by videocopilot.net. You can go ahead and buy the plugin and it's uh, kind of have these uh, HDRIs with it that uh, they are not that great HDRIs or high quality HDRIs, they are actually very small HDRIs, but in this case, uh, this one really was a very unique one that I uh, used it uh, in my original scene and I'm going to use it here. Uh, you can use your own HDRI, you can go to the content browser of Cinema 4D and find your HDRI there and try to tweak it using some filter shader and stuff like that to get these to be similar but you can use your own HDRIs but for me uh, this particular HDRI was a very essential part to get the job done and to get the uh, effect that was exactly I was looking for so I'm going to double click these on this blurred version and it is blurred so the reflection and refraction will look a bit blurry 
uh, without having to uh, add the blurriness and um, increase the blurriness that's really there are uh, blurriness you know it is it, it's a really a huge render hit so i'm going to use the hdri which is a bit blurry you can use this hdri and blur it yourself but i'm just going to stick with this hdr in this case and uh, this is the hdr i'm going to use and then i'm going to apply it to the sky and uh, right click on this uh, cinema 4d tags and let's go to the compositing tag now here what I'm going to do is make sure I don't really want to see it in my scene. I really clutter up the scene. And the next thing, I don't want this to be seen by the transparency or refraction. I just want to be seen by the reflection here. So uh, that is it. And I'm going to change my render from standard to physical because we have a lot of uh, reflection and refraction. And I think the standard will possibly be much more better. Now, uh, this is it, and the uh, anti-aliasing, I think it's uh, because we have a lot of friction, I'm going to turn it on uh, right now. <laughs> we don't have to turn it on, right, because we are using the physical, and the physical the physical renderer basically controls the anti-aliasing right from here, so we can go ahead and increase our sampling subdivision to have a much more better anti-aliasing uh, going on here. So I'm going to uh, just um, come up here, and uh, I'm going to go to increase my sampling subdivision to something like uh, 2.5 I'm going to my shading subdivision something like 1 maybe I'm going to decrease my shading threshold to something like 15% so we have a better render and we really need to increase this guys uh, when we are going to the final render but I think for uh, the moment they are going to be enough so let's go ahead and test and see what we have for the moment and what this uh, light is going to do and we can then start uh, adding uh, our uh, other lights in the next lesson so let's go ahead and have a quick render for what we have here okay so this is what we have at the moment let me uh, see if there is anything that I wanted to go ahead and uh, change you can see we have this very nice reflections if you take a look uh, and if we get closer maybe let's see I'm just going to see how this light is actually going to work for us Okay, this is exactly what, look at those nice reflections, oh my god. Just this is, I think, it would be enough, but we're going to make it much more nicer than what we have it at the moment. And you can see how cool the reflections are, and uh, you really don't need to use a light kit and stuff like that to really just have some nice um, uh, reflections. Just go ahead and create your own light kit. Look at this, wow, gorgeous, 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 and amazing. Now, uh, I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm not going to change anything for the moment. Uh, we uh, most likely are going to need to change some of the parameters when we add the other lights. But for the moment, I think this is going to be enough. So this is our first light. In the next uh, lesson, I'm going to add my second light and see how exactly it's going to work and how we are going to make this scene more dramatic. And the uh, other lesson, we'll be talking about the other light that uh, really make uh, the scene and the lighting much more nicer. So see you there.